So today, we're going to be on page 36 of your notes, and we're going to start talking about mitosis. How do eukaryotic cells divide? But before we can start talking about mitosis and how it's going to separate the DNA, we have to talk about what happens before that. And why do they need to divide? So there's three main reasons as to why cells need to divide. The first is that they need to maintain a workable volume to surface area ratio. So if you're looking at this next bullet, it says volume increases faster than surface area in cells. A larger surface area to volume ratio, ratio is preferable. So remember what we talked about with the mitochondria and with the chloroplasts. The more surface area you have, the more work that could be done. But if you look here at these um, three different cubes and these three different sizes, as we move to the right, we're increasing the volume, right? They're getting bigger. There's more space on the inside. And what I want you to think about is that if I had one, if I had one little why cells need to divide, we're actually going to talk about what has to happen before they can divide. So eukaryotic cells are complex and require a regulated cycle for division. There's lots of checkpoints to make sure that this is dividing properly. The first part of the cell cycle, and that's the life of the cell and what it needs to go through before it can divide, is interphase. Interphase is the longest part of the 
cell cycle. And for cell cycle, you might want to just write life cycle of cell. That's how it develops throughout its life. This includes a gap one in which the cell carries out normal life functions. So if you're looking at this picture right here, notice that interface is this outer ring, and it covers more than half, about three quarters of the life of the cell, okay? So if a cell receives a signal to divide, and then the cell prepares in the S phase by copying the DNA so that two copies can be divided into two cells. So if one of those, re one of those three reasons have occurred, maybe we have some damaged cells that need to be replaced, there will be a signal to some of your good cells, okay? that they need to start dividing. But before they divide, the DNA needs to be copied. And that's during our S phase. So if you look in the picture, here's our S phase, and it says DNA is duplicated. And you'll want to put a star by that. It's really important that you know that that's when DNA is copied. So DNA is normally found in a relaxed form called chromatin. And if you look at the bottom picture right here, here's a picture of our chromatin DNA. Okay. And it looks like stringy spaghetti right now. Okay, that's what it looks like when the cell is just in its normal life phase. It's not about to divide or anything. But after it receives the signal, signal that chromatin will coil up into chromosomes, and then the chromosome can be copied. Your chromosome is actually going to be that DNA wrapped around some proteins. And this is what your chromosome looks like, okay? So you do need to be able to recognize this picture. The two sides of the chromosomes are called sister chromatids. So if you look at just one side of it, this is a chromatid or chromosome. This is a double chromosome. One section of this is called a sister chromatid. sister chromatids. So again, this is a single chromosome. This is a replicated chromosome, or doubled chromosome. That means the same thing. The two copies are identical, so both sides are exactly the same. And during mitosis, they will be separated or pulled apart so that each copy goes to one of the new cells. The cell next will grow to prepare for division during a stage called gap two. So here, DNA is going, or the cell is going to grow. DNA will duplicate or copy itself. You go from one chromosome to two. That's what the little X looks like. And then period two, or G2, gap two, this is period after DNA is duplicated, and the cell is going to prepare even more before it can divide. So now we go into mitosis. Our DNA is ready. It's been copied. We have two chromatids, two sister chromatids for every chromosome. And so now we can actually separate our cell, and each cell can have the right number of chromosomes. So the first phase of mitosis, and if you look back at the picture of the cell cycle, you'll notice that we have interphase. Interphase is G1, S, and G2. This is all about what the DNA is doing. And then mitosis is its own section. So interphase does not count as a phase of mitosis. Mitosis is only going to be four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. And then you have a third step, which is called cytokinesis, okay? So we might even want to number it. Interphase is kind of the first stage of the life cycle, or of the cell cycle. Mitosis is second. And the third is when the cytoplasm divides. And this is called cytokinesis. Three big stages. And interphase is the longest stage. So in prophase, that first stage of mitosis, this is where your copy DNA will up and become visible. So it can still be long and stringy 
when it's copied, but it's going to coil up and wrap up into those neat little chromosomes. And actually under a microscope, this is at the first step where you can actually start to see those chromosomes, because normally they're so stringy and thin that you can't see them. In the second phase, metaphase, your spindle fibers will move double chromosomes to the middle of the cell. Now in our eukaryotic cells, in our animal cells, we actually have a little structure called a centriole. And if you remember this, the centriole helps animal cells divide. And what they actually do is they produce these little spindle fibers, little thread-like extensions that will actually pull and move those chromosomes around. So here's metaphase. We're actually moving them to the center. Meta, middle, or you can think of meta, they're moving up in the middle, okay? Then we have anaphase. Anaphase is going to be the third step of mitosis. In anaphase, the two sister chromatids, remember our sister chromatid looks like this. This is one chromatid, this is another chromatid, okay? That X representing the chromosome are pulled apart to each side of the cell. So when I see anaphase, I think of ant. I end up having one chromatid on this side and the other on this side. Um, and then another thing that might help you remember that is if you think of each strand, we call a big A, a little A here, okay, or just the A's in general, and in the middle, they're two separated. Um, then our last stage, fourth stage of mitosis is telophase. And in telophase, that single, the single chromosomes are going to be surrounded by a membrane. So actually, our nucleus is going to reform. Now for an animal cell, this is an example of an animal cell, you actually see the cells start to pinch in, okay? And then that's about to get ready to completely separate. But in mitosis, they're not going to completely separate yet. The last, last phase is when the cytoplasm divides, and this is going to occur during cytokinesis. So this is the third phase of that cell cycle, of that big circular picture. And then your two daughter cells are going to be made. Now there is a difference between your plant and animal cells. Your animal cells will completely pinch off and separate, as you see in this picture. But in your plant cells, the cell plate is going to be produced and will become a cell wall. So you actually have a cell wall that forms in the middle of those two. At the end, your result is that you'll produce two identical cells. They'll have the same DNA in each of them, exactly the same. And you'll actually have a diploid number for the cells. So for example, in humans, you have 46 chromosomes, and then you'll end with 46 chromosomes, okay? So 46 chromosomes, and you end with 46 chromosomes in each daughter cell. All right? And then problems with mitosis, cancer can actually occur if cell division is uncontrolled. And for the last question for your summary box, I actually want you to grow, go back and draw the two differences in the plant cell and animal cells division inside, during cytokinesis, okay? And make sure you take a look at this picture as well.